Right. Well, whew. I almost feel like we should take another break now, but let's just uh, carry on a, a little bit because I wanted to. Oh, I need to need to need to shake my head. I, as as Dave was saying, he was coming over all excited, and I feel I was uh, getting all excited too by that. Um, I enjoy Dave's discussions, and uh, he's been helping to shape quite a lot of the way that the higher education research environment in the UK uses the internet, particularly uh, research into learning and teaching. Yeah. Notice the picture credits too. Nice touch. Um, there was a there was one of those uh, potential exam questions in there. Plagiarism is not just uh, not citing your sources or something like that. Uh, is it plagiarism to use unlicensed sources? Something uh, the whole sort of difference about you know what it means to uh, reuse somebody's work with and without attribution and what kind of work you can reuse. And, uh, nobody rose to the question. Um, I think somebody did pick it up about in whose interests is the um, licensing regime. Uh, what does the licensing regime serve? Um, there's a whole range of areas that I have problems with with the open educational resources movement, which doesn't really have anything to do with the internet. It goes back to uh, sort of 20 years ago in distance learning when resource-based learning became a, became a popular notion, the idea that um, the content of the course could be embodied in, uh, in, a, in a course manual and um, so on. So I think, I think the, the problems have been around for quite a long time. The internet uh, puts a new dimension onto it, but uh, resource-based learning is, is problematic. Um, next week, we're into the last week of, of our MOOC, and thank you everybody for uh, sticking with it and participating in it up to this point, and I really hope that uh, you will all be here next week because next week is micro teaching. Um, this is the part of the first steps into learning and teaching curriculum that certainly in the face-to-face -face session we find probably the most stimulating, which is when people uh, on the course get to show off a little bit of what they do in their practice. And we have two sessions next week, two live synchronous sessions in Collaborate, Wednesday the 20th of June, 15 to 1700, again, GMT plus one, British summertime. And then again on Friday, the 22nd of June. We're hoping that by providing those two sessions that we have time to look at a fair number of um, examples that people might want to bring. But these aren't the only options for sharing teaching practice, of course. We want participants to share and discuss a demonstration of their teaching. And by discuss, I suppose what I mean is don't just put yours up and think that you've done it. Make sure that you go and uh, look at what other people are doing and um, comment on their practice as well. Um, there are other options for sharing, uh, for sharing in the open collaborate room, for example, using your blogs, using YouTube, links out to other places, or indeed the micro teaching wiki that we've, uh, that we've put up. So all of these are uh, available options for, uh, for, for participation in, in um, the micro teaching activity next week. Are there any questions at this point about micro teaching or the um, live sessions next week? Jenny, do you have anything to add or to observe in respect of the micro teaching session? Well, right at the beginning of this um, session, I mentioned that there is a discussion thread in Moodle to share um, the planning and preparation for this activity. But I'd also like to say at this point um, that the, this micro teaching activity is not only for people who are being assessed. We very much welcome um, anybody uh, in the whole MOOC group um, who would like to share examples of their teaching. And um, if anybody 
uh, wants to do that, please go ahead. If anybody needs further advice, wants to discuss it, I'm very, any one of us, I'm sure, George, Marion, me, uh, would all be very happy to discuss discuss it as well, um, either in the Moodle forum or by email or however suits you best, or in a collaborate room. So I just wanted to add that, George. Hey there, George. We've lost you. Have you turned to put your mic? Are you talking? Have you put your mic back on? Hello. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Dave, I've got to check my own digital literacy skills. They're getting rusty here. Um, I was just observing that Rachel mentioned in the uh, chat stream, uh, she asked the question whether it was necessary to show your face um, or uh, can we, would the voice alone be all right? And the answer to that is yes, of course, there is no need to show your face or indeed necessarily even your voice. You may, if you wish, do an audio, video, visual presentation, but you may very well wish to display some other form of teaching. Online teaching often uses uh, discussion and question and answer sessions, so you might um, showcase a discussion forum and uh, annotate that and say why you believe that this particular discussion forum was a an effective illustration of teaching in an online context. So one point is, no, it's not necessary to show your face. It's not necessary even to show your voice. Of course, you may if you wish. The other is uh, perhaps a more difficult question, which is that this is a course about learning and teaching in higher education. It is not a course that is only about learning and teaching online in higher education. So there may be people on this program whose principal modes of learning and teaching are in face-to-face -face contexts. So it's not necessary to showcase an online interaction. You may wish to showcase, discuss, exemplify, present a plan for a traditional face-to-face -face kind of a context. So no, you don't have to use audio or video, but neither do you have to necessarily use online contexts either. Um, so is that, does that clarify some of the questions? Yeah, John says he's never taught online. Indeed, John, you don't need to, just because this course is online, it doesn't have to be about online. <laughs> Rudy. Yeah, indeed, Rudy. Sometimes some people do things other than online. It's amazing. Um, OK, so that's, that's next week. Uh, we look forward to seeing everybody on Wednesday and on Friday. Uh, Friday will also um, serve the purpose of being the final session in this MOOC and uh, saying farewell to everyone who has participated and is continuing to participate so enthusiastically. Um, cheers, Lucy. Um, so finally, again, reminding people to sign the research consent form. Um, it's, it's good old-fashioned, solid university-approved research ethics. And the evaluation form, again, um, which have led neatly to other collaborate rooms. So uh, if the assessment group, uh, anybody in the assessment group who wants to join us to discuss the assessment aspects in, in the assessment room, if we can come to here, and I'll put a clickable link uh, into the chat. Um, so that should be the assessment room. Ah, the open room. Um, one of the reasons that we provided the open room was to give people a space in which they could make an audio recording of an online teaching session in a live synchronous environment. So if anybody wants to use the open room to, show, to, to create and demo their, uh, their 
their micro-teaching event. That's what it's for. So um, there is a, there's a free open space that you can use. I think Sylvia is probably going to keep these spaces open for a long time. I'll check with Sylvia uh, on how long the open room will be open for, but I think it's going to be open for a, for a fair amount of time. All right. Um, <laughs> that's where you, Lucy ended up there for a few minutes while looking for us. Okay, any questions uh, before we say goodbye to this particular session? Anybody in the assessment group, um, I'll see you over there in about two minutes. And I think it remains only to say thank you. And please remember to allow, log out of this session before you well, you can click into the um, the open the uh, the assessment room and then make sure you log out of this one because then we can save the recording. So I'll say goodbye, everybody, and it's been a pleasure seeing you. See you next week. Glad it was a memorable session. And anybody that uh, wants to join me in the anybody in the assessment group that wants to join me in the assessment slot, see you there in a few minutes.